Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be discussing today is something that was sent to me uh, in an email by a community member. And this email was sent to them, okay? And this was sent to them by XL Energy. And XL is X-C-E-L, okay? And it is due to the fact that they are going to be having increased risk of weather related outages okay and this is what the email reads we are contacting you with an important update based on high winds and wildfire condition forecast for your area the current situation dry conditions and high winds are expected to create increased wildfire risks in your area over this period we will operate our electric system in some areas in a manner intended to decrease the risk of wildfire. While taking this step is intended to enhance public safety, customer power outages may occur. If they occur, they may be more frequent and last longer than they typically would. Our crews maintain, um, re oh, sorry, remain uh, committed to restoring power when it is safe to do so. Please note, we will not proactively turn on customers' power, but expects there may be outages related to these weather conditions. What is different? Through this stretch of high wildfire risk, we will change settings on some of our electric distribution and transmission lines. Typically, when there is an issue that causes a power outage on a line, such as the tree branch contacting the power line or lines moving in high winds, equipment on our system will attempt to restore power automatically, usually within a few seconds. By changing the settings on those systems, the line will not automatically restore power until a crew can patrol the area to ensure it is safe to restore service. What it means for you. This step is intended to enhance public safety during heightened risk conditions, but it means power outages are likely to last longer for customers because a crew must patrol the power line before returning it to service. Crews will be standing by to respond to conduct these patrols and restore power when it is safe to do so. How customers can prepare. To be ready in the event of an electrical outage, we recommend keeping phones and other devices charged and building an, out, uh, an outage kit with items that do not require electricity, including a battery powered radio or television, flashlights, batteries, a portable charger, a phone that does not require electricity, a non-electric alarm clock, bottled water, non-perishable food, a manual can opener, a first aid kit, and extension cords for partial outages. Also, power outages can occur before and during a wildfire, so it's important to be prepared and know exactly what actions to take if you have to evacuate okay so along with a pre-evacuation preparedness uh, plan there are a few ways to be ready in case of a power outage during these critical times all right uh if you have a garage door opener all right uh, learn how to manually open your automatic garage door uh, or if you have gates this is extremely important, okay? Be familiar with your home's utility boxes for electricity, water, and gas. Um, here's something that I don't think a lot of people under, like, you know, would realize. Uh, keep your shoes near your bed in case you need to evacuate during the night, okay? Um, if you don't already have a supply kit built, make sure you have your first aid kit, your scripts, uh, make sure you check your expiration dates, of course, uh, have, you know, like the normal stuff in there. Like I had already said, like 
water, battery operated radio, flashlights, batteries, stuff like that. Also include cooler, ice chest, uh, rechargeable battery packs uh, for your cell phones, uh, extra charging cable, um, non-perishables, things like that, and a manual can opener. Always keep the gas tank at least half full in the cars. Make sure your safety preparedness plan, uh, make sure you, you, you have it now, okay? And not say, well, I should have done that before all of this. Uh, make sure your family knows each step and the role that they will play during this time. Don't forget your pets, okay? Have an action plan ready for them as well and know that they will be cared for. If you have a power generator, be sure you know the safety guidelines for your particular model, including where to connect it, which electrical cords to use, what the electrical load rating is, um, an improperly installed generator can electrocute you or a utility worker. Okay, so you have to be careful. Keep your cell phone charged, keep a supply of water, during a power outage, if the power goes out, there are steps to take, like with your fridge and your freezer, keep the doors shut, okay? There's no need to go in and out, in and out, in and out. If you have little kids at home, they're constantly going to be going in and out, in and out, in and out of the fridge, you know, keep it shut. Uh, this will th keep the things fresh and cold. Uh, shut off your gas and any other combustibles, like propane tank. Uh, stay at least 10 feet away from both overhead power lines and electrical facilities and never approach or touch overhead power lines or any person or object that has come into contact with the lines. If a wildfire is what is going on in your area, which apparently that's what's going on in this community member's area. She's probably in uh, Texas in the panhandle of Texas. Please keep informed with a battery powered or solar powered radio or your cell phone. So I know that these are very critical times. These are very scary times. Okay. But this is what you have prepared for. Okay. This is what we've all prepared for. All right. And for emergencies like this and now is not the time to say, well, I'm just going to stay here in my home because you might not be able to, okay? You might have to evacuate uh, and go to either a shelter or go to another state with another relative that lives in another state or whatever the case may be, because I know, you know, you're going to say, wow, I can't even believe you're saying this. Your preps can be replaced. You cannot. You yourself cannot ever be replaced, but your preps can. So take what you can with you and get out, okay? If that is what needs to be done, okay? Your safety is first priority, all right? So uh, I just hope that everyone that is affected by this is, is going to be okay. I know that you know, a lot of farmland has burnt up, uh, the cattle that has been lost, the crops that have been lost, but just hopefully that we don't lose anyone, you know? All right, guys, uh, I am out of here. All right. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fearless.